and welcome back to Ultimate Creed More Shooting. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Mossberg Patriot Predator Stradiverse. Now, I've seen a lot of hoopla on these rifles all over the internet. I want to get one for myself and see what it was all about. So it kind of blew me away. This isn't an MOA shooting rifle, it's a sub MOA shooting rifle. So the Mossberg Patriot Predator Stradiverse um, it's a little different than what you get on the normal version. It's got a threaded muzzle brake, it's got fluting done in the barrel, it even comes with a Picatinny rail, which, you know what, if you wanted to buy one of these yourself, it'd be over a hundred bucks. So, just that alone, maybe it's worth it. Now, Predator, it's kind of misleading. You'd think of a Predator rifle as being a heavy barreled rifle, especially if you're going out coyote shooting or long range shooting or anything like that. No, this doesn't have it. It has a more thinner pencil style barrel like you would have on your regular rifles. Um, now the overall weight of this rifle is about six and a half pounds. So it's pretty much like a featherweight rifle that would be great for hunting. So you could carry this around all day in the bush and not get tired. Now this sells for around $379 US or about $790 Canadian. Uh, you can get it in 350 Legend, 300 Wind Mag, uh, 7 mil Remington Mag, uh, 22 250, 243 Winchester, uh, 30 odd 6, and 308 and 338 Wind Mag, 450 Bushmaster, and 65 Cremar. So, how accurate is this rifle? Being a non-precision rifle. So basically with this rifle, you're going to be using it you know, for deer hunting, bear hunting, or anything like that between 100 and 200 yards. So accuracy is kind of important, but under those circumstances, it's not going to be super important. You know, you're going to be shooting, say, three-shot group at 100 yards, 200 yards, it's gonna work. So I took it out to the range the other day and I shot a bunch of three shot groups with this rifle with different kind of ammunition just to see what like. So the first ammunition we shot was the Hornady Superformance 120 grain rounds um, as seen here. Now that was a 1.134 MOA grouping. Next we have the Hornady Full Bore. Now that's 120 grain round that was a little surprising to me, especially being that. Um, it was 0 0.071 MOAs. Uh, the S&B match rounds, 140 grain, they didn't do so good. It was 1.41 MOAs. Uh, the 140 grain ELD match rounds, 0 0.841 MOAs. Uh, the federal 140 grain burger rounds, 0.730 MOAs and finally the federal premier uh, Sierra match king 140 grain that was 1.17 MOAs now those are all three shot groups um, just because you know these barrels do heat up uh, after three shots you do a four shot that bullets kind of go wonky donkey wherever so it's not going to be really great it's gonna, the barrel's gonna expand too much on you and the shot's gonna throw. So three shot groups, that's all I'm looking for. Now usually what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be going into the field. Normally you're gonna shoot one shot, maybe two shots when you're deer hunting. Um, three shots is very highly unlikely unless you really miss bad. So you know what? It's going to work. It's going to work. do the job as a hunting rifle. Now, this has a thin line profile barrel. Um, I only ever shoot three shot groupings when I'm at the range to try out the barrels. You know, and it had an average of 0.893 MOAs, which is actually incredibly good. So the barrel action is a two lug 90 degree bolt throw on it. You know, it's it's the fit and finish isn't all that great on it like you got this 
wiggly wigglies going on in the back. I don't know what that's all about. You know, it should be really nice and tight when it's engaged like that. But look at this. Like, it shouldn't be like that. The action is all loosey weirdy in my view. So it does have like the fluting on the bolt itself. You know, it's actually really loose. Um, it's got a one and eight twist, 22 inch barrel. It's threaded at the end so you can put a muzzle breaker or a suppressor on it, which is good. Um, any real issues with ejecting? I didn't have issues with, you know, um, feeding around. Like I put three rounds into the box here and shot one shot, put in the second shot, I wouldn't cycle um, as in the video right here. That was very weird. It's like, you know, it should cycle. Like everything just doesn't fit perfectly like it should. It's so kind of wonky donkey in there. Um, but you know what? This is going to be a hunting rifle. It's, I'm not looking for a precision rifle. So I'm not too worried about that. Now, it's got like this bladed two-stage trigger on it. Like some people say you get a lot of creep on it. Um, I didn't find it bad. It seems to look pretty good. I know you can buy aftermarket like Timmy triggers for it. So like the trigger itself could cost you, you know, roughly 160 bucks for the trigger. Um, the chassis would be three or four hundred dollars more for it. So you know what? I'm just going to leave it as it is as a hunting rifle. I'll be taking this thing out deer hunting maybe twice a year. Other than that, it'll be sitting in my gun cabinet. You know, the stock's not too bad. It's got a half decent textured grip. Um, it's not bedded. There's no aluminum chassis inside of it. Um, it's supposed to be a free floating barrel. It touches this side more than it does the, the other side. It's got a half decent textured grip on the by the trigger itself. The butt plate's nice and soft foam, so it's good for recoil, but this is a 6.5, so it's not going to recoil all that hard. It's a half decent hunting rifle. You know, it's got a couple eyelet holes here where front and back where you can put a sling on it. It'll do the job deer hunting. So there you have it, guys. There's my review of the Mossberg Patriot Predator Strata version. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see some more videos, uh, check out my Patreon account that I have going. And I have a bunch of other videos that will be linked below where you can uh, check out other rifles that I have. I'll leave some links in the description where you can possibly find one of these rifles if you're in interested in it. Well, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time at Ultimate Creedmoor Shooting. Bye for now.